it's Sally and Josie from IOD, and today we are going to be doing a fun little project. What are we doing? We are going to be taking this darling compact little dresser and making it beautiful with our new IOD floral stamp. We'll be doing a stamped impressed finish and some peekaboo drawers. Let's get started. As you can see, we've actually removed the hardware on this piece, we've removed the mirror, and we gave it a base coat with a mineral chalk type paint. Um, the nice thing about that type of paint is you can just go right on, you don't have to sand the piece first. And now we're ready to get started with our step one. We have taken the drawers out, and because we're gonna be laying on quite a bit of paint, we are going to put in the holes just these little tape nubbies so that paint doesn't drip down into the holes. Yeah, you're just creating a little plug that you're gonna put down and make sure that you get it just below the surface so it's not catching as you're painting over it. Now we are going to take, like Josie said, the same color of paint that we've base coated it in. And we're just gonna pour an ample amount into any type of container. It can be a paper plate, it can be a paint pan. Um, and then we're going to take a trowel-like tool, and by the time this video comes out, we will actually have an IOD one that is optimized for this technique, so check that out. And we're going to lay the paint on. What's really awesome about this technique, and you'll see Josie's gonna get started here, is that it allows for a really smooth, buttery surface that is perfect for the stamped and pressed technique. And it just gives the, the surface coat a different, more flat finish that's really just kind of velvety. We love it. Mm -hmm. It's, um, Josie and I used to do European wall finishes, and this is the technique we use to trowel on joint compound to get a beautiful European wall surface. So we're using the same technique on furniture for our stamped and pressed. Yes, now we're building up some thickness in this coat. And so that means you're not putting a lot of pressure on your silicone squeegee. Mm -hmm. You are allowing it to move the paint around without scraping it off, if that makes sense. We actually have a few tutorials where we do this technique. So if you want to dive a little deeper or see more examples of it, check our, our YouTube channel and you'll see some more st stamped and pressed and we go into more detail in how we lay on this paint coat. Okay. That is beautiful. We're going to do this on um, all three of the drawers and the top and the sides. All right, so as we go in to create our design layout on these, we want to pay attention to the fact that one, our drawers are in the same order that they come out of the dresser in, and two, that we have a gap that is the same distance between the drawers on the dresser. The reason for that is that way it's not going to distort our design when we put them back in. As you can see, I'm finishing up this last drawer as Josie's getting started. That's because our paint happens to be drying rather quickly. You wanna pay attention and how long would you say? It really depends on your um, the humidity, environment. the environment, humidity. but you want it to set up for just a tiny bit. You don't need to wait long. Yeah, you definitely just want it to be set. So you might have a little bit of a skim on it, but you don't want it to be dry. So let's create the bulk of our design right in here because we want an offset kind of asymmetrical design here. Let's check the spacing on these. Very nice. And then I'm going to place them. And there's go there's a height difference between these two drawers. If you really want to make it easier on yourself, you can shim for that so that you are not making any adjustments. I'm going to adjust on the fly. I don't know if Josie mentioned this, but these stamps are actually mm -hmm. optimized for this technique. Yes, exactly. Okay. 
We pay close attention to line weight when we're optimizing for texture and for um, art techniques. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Mm. I love it. What we love about this technique is that you can actually get beautiful subtle designs or you can do different washes that really pop that design and get more color and contrast. We're choosing a little bit more subtle for that really nice um, minimal farmhouse look. Let's go in here with this chrysanthemum. Mm, I love beautiful mums. Aren't those pretty? Yes. You don't want to slide or shift, so mm -hmm. you want to hold it in place, but make sure that you're applying good pressure to all the areas of the design. And then lift carefully. Mm, beautiful. Oh, be so gorgeous. <laughs> I am going to put just a little bit of grape coming down there. so that there's a little bit of the grapevine just kind of tucked into the design. I think right here would be nice. I love the mix of fruit and flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that's it? really pretty. And look at how beautiful this goes. Mm -hmm. Like right in here, I'm thinking, yes. You could do an all over pattern with this technique if you wanted to, oh, we've done that. You can also um, have more of a mural creation. We're going with um, kind of an offset trailing mm. design. Yes, loving it. Mm -hmm. That Ooh, is really look at pretty. This leaf there. Yes, love it. Mm. Oh. oh, it's going to be so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, let's choose some more. I really like this big grape leaf and then maybe another flower yeah, here. Yeah, I think something right here. What do you think of this? I love that. That's perfect. That is a big, gorgeous grape leaf. Mm. These designs will actually be brand new uh, when this video airs. So make sure you contact your stockist, use our store locator. You can find online stockists as well as local ones and get a hold of these, uh, these stamps for yourself. Mm. We're gonna go ahead and do the top the, repeat the steps that we did on the drawers, on the top, sides, and any other surface that we really want to blend in. And then we're going to take the stamp design and bring it up over this corner. Now what's nice is we used the same color um, for this technique that we used for our base coat. And what that allows us to do is we actually, if we don't want to trowel an area, it's still gonna blend in. Totally. And you can apply your base coat with a trowel too. That's true. Our silicone paint blade is bomb diggity. Wait mm -hmm. till you get your hands on it. Also note, that when you get little crumbs in it, it'll make little like unintended lines. So any little crumbs that you have in your paint, get those out. And even on the fly, you'll find, oh, there's a crumb, it made a stripe, just dab it out, no big deal. Mm. These Again, so our stamps are designed and optimized for this technique. The line, we pay attention to the negative and positive as well as the line weight. And that just really gives this beautiful, clean look. Mm, so beautiful. I love it. I love the crumply twisting, the fluid movement of mm -hmm. the leaves. 
the next step is where the magic happens. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna finish up doing the sides with the laying on of the paint, and then we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna move on to the glazing step. This is where things get fun. We have created just a watery wash using chalk type paint and water, mostly water, because we really want this to remain light and airy. So we went with a light gray finish. You can play around with different washes and see what you like. Let's go ahead and check this out. Come on, time's wasting. <laughs> you lay on and I'll just kind of wipe off. Okay. Sounds good. You're really keeping it loose and you're coming right back in to take it off so that you have a light color. This is very damp. And you're working kind of quickly because you don't want uh, stop marks and you don't want it to, um, in that raw paint, it's very absorbent. Mm, that's so pretty. Mm, it's gorgeous. Mm, I would scumble that all over. Yeah, it adds a nice little texture. It does. Oh, that's really pretty. Mm. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look how this design just absolutely pops. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. It's gonna be gorgeous. I now, the trick to getting a muted pattern that is not repetitive is to keep your hand moving and twisting. And you're patting, you're not rubbing hard, mm -hmm. you're patting, twisting, moving. So it keeps it soft and organic. Mm -hmm. A nice soft cloudy finish. Mm-hmm. If you need to change your rag and get it a little wet, rinse and squeeze, but you're gonna find it's very forgiving. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. All right, let's go ahead and apply this to the drawers. So the final step is to apply a sealer. This time we're using a clear wax and you're going to follow the instructions on the can that you use. But in general, you're going to go on very light. You're going to keep a crosshatch pattern, making sure you have full coverage, but light coverage. Then you're gonna let it dry and buff it out. A little dab will do you.
Didn't this little farmhouse dresser turn out beautiful? Just sweet and subtle. See how easy it is to add some textural design to your piece with IOD stamps? Thanks for joining us, you guys. Go, Go make, make something, something beautiful. beautiful.